last time we discussed the first case where the roots of characteristic equations are real and distinct in this case we get general solution as c1 a1 e raised to m1 t plus c2 a2 e raised to m2 t this as x and y as c1 b1 e raised to m1 t plus c2 b2 e raised to m2 t now we consider second case where we have complex group so here characteristic equation is quadratic equation okay so this is quadratic equation and roots of this equation are complex means these roots will be complex conjugate okay so we get distinct complex roots so for such a uh, polynomial if a plus ib is root then a minus ib that is conjugate is also a root if m1 and m2 are distinct complex roots of characteristic equation then these are of the form a plus minus ib where a and b are real numbers and b is non zero of course okay if b is zero then these are not complex it's okay so uh, we will have repeated real case okay. that we will study later on so here we uh, consider uh, this solution corresponding to a plus ib this solution <coughs> of system 1 corresponding to m1 equal to a plus ib is x equal to a1 star i am writing star because this constant will also be complex number now a1 star e raised to a plus ib into t okay that is m1 t and y equal to b1 star e raised to a plus ib into t okay this is uh number 8 where a1 star is complex number given by a1 plus <coughs> i times a2 and b1 star is complex number given by b1 plus i b2 okay a1 a2 b1 b2 are real constants Okay, so we can simplify. Therefore, 
x is a1 plus i a2 and e raised to a plus i b into t is e raised to a t into e raised to i b t. So this is nothing but a1 plus i a2 e raised to a t and e raised to i b t is cos b t plus i times sine b t and we can simplify this so we can separate real and imaginary parts so this is e raised to a t into real part is a1 cos bt then i square is minus 1 so minus a2 sin bt this is the real part plus i times imaginary part is a1 sin bt and a2 cos bt plus a2 cos bt. So this is value of x, simplified value of x. Similarly, we consider y. Equal to B1 star that is B1 plus ID2 into E raised to A plus IB into T. Again, we write this as E raised to AT d1 plus i d2 into cos dt plus i sin dt. So this is e raised to at into real part is d1 cos dt then minus b2 sin dt then imaginary part plus i times b1 sin bt plus b2 cos bt okay so this is what now these x and y are complex solutions of linear homogeneous system one these complex functions x and y are solutions of linear homogeneous system one and we already have seen similar thing in second order equations as if such complex functions are solutions then real and imaginary parts of these solutions are also solutions and these are independent solutions therefore general solution will be c1 into real part plus c2 into imaginary part therefore the real and imaginary parts of 
these solutions are these functions x and y are independent solutions linearly independent solutions it is not difficult to verify okay. linearly independent solutions of one and therefore we can have general solution therefore general solution of one is <clears throat> okay so already we have complex solutions and we are providing equivalent uh, solution in real space okay so general solution is given by x equal to c1 in to real part plus c2 into imaginary part okay so e raised to a t is common so instead of i we uh, instead of this real and imaginary parts we take c1 into this real part plus c2 into imaginary part okay so e raised to a t into c1 into real part a1 cos bt minus a2 sin bt plus c2 into imaginary part A1 sin bt plus A2 cos bt. Okay. Y equal to A raised to AT into C1 real part in y is b1 cos bt minus b2 sin bt plus c2 into b1 sin bt plus d2 cos bt where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants okay so these are uh, this form general solution of given system one now third case is real repeated roots or equal roots Suppose that <clears throat> the characteristic equation has only one root m. Therefore, x equal to a e raised to m t, y equal to b e raised to m t is solution of 
system one okay so this is solution but this is second order system so we need one more solution and it cannot be obtained using characteristic equation because it has only one root okay so we try to find another solution of course independent solution of the form x equal to a1 plus a2t into a raised to mt y equal to b1 plus b2t a raised to mt okay so this is very similar to second order uh, differential equation where we have repeated root of characteristic equation and we uh, consider similar so type of solution okay so we substitute this in given equation and then uh, try to obtain these values a1 a2 b1 b2 okay so this will be discussed in uh, illustrative examples so general solution is therefore general solution of one is x equal to c1 into a e raised to mt plus c2 into a1 plus a2 t e raised to mt and y is c1 b e raised to mt plus c2 b1 plus b2 t e raised to mt so uh, we discuss some examples next time